Justice Barrett. So, Mr. Sauer, you've argued that the impeachment clause suggests or requires impeachment to be a gateway to criminal prosecution, right? Yes, I think that's the plain meaning of that second phrase in the clause. Okay, so there are many other people who are subject to impeachment, including the nine sitting on this bench, and I don't think anyone has ever suggested that impeachment would have to be the gateway to criminal prosecution for any of the many other officers subject to impeachment. So why is the president different when the impeachment clause doesn't say so? Someone very important has made the opposite suggestion as to the president himself, which is Solicitor General Bork, which is reaffirmed in the OLC opinions on this, where, the, where Solicitor General Bork in 1973, as to the issue of the vice president, reviewed the historical materials and he said the sequence is mandatory only as to the president. That is DOJ's view of the original understanding of the impeachment judgment clause, which is exactly our position. The sequence is mandatory only as to the president. Keep in mind that the criminal prosecution of a president, president prior to impeachment contradicts, in our view, the plain language of the Constitution, but also hundreds of years of history. And what DOJ admits is the framers' intent. And so we say that that practice, whatever its validity, should not be extended to this novel context where it clashes with the constitutional what structure. What if the criminal conduct isn't discovered until until after the president is out of office, so there was no opportunity for impeachment. We say the framers assume the risk that of under enforcement by adopting these very structural checks. As Justice Scalia said in Morrison against Olson, the separation of powers uh, uh, prevents us from righting every wrong, but it does so that we do not lose liberty. Okay, and, and the special counsel makes uh, a point that I think is a pretty compelling one. You admit that if the president were successfully impeached, that he could be criminally prosecuted after impeachment, right? Assuming the prosecution was for the same conduct of which he was convicted, not impeached, he must be convicted. That word conviction is okay. right there in the clause. Okay, granted. Um, but you also say that these criminal statutes, unless they explicitly mention the president, don't apply to him. So how can you say that he would be subject to prosecution after impeachment while at the same time saying that he's exempt from these criminal statutes? Well, there are statutes, as they concede, where President, uh, Congress has purported a to few, do so. two or three. They haven't done a comprehensive review. I think it looks like all they did was tech search for president in 18 U.S. Code. Again, under Franklin, that's a very telling indication that the word president is not in the statute. Is it necessarily a, a, a magic word requirement, so to speak? But more fundamentally than that, more fundamentally than that, they concede there are statutes that exist. In addition to that, much impeachment could occur as a result of private conduct. So the impeachment judgment clause does do significant work by authorizing the subsequent prosecution of a president there because what the framers, if you look at what they're discussing in the thing, is pri or in the Constitutional Convention is principally concerns about private conduct, which of course we concede are not immune. Okay, so just to pick up Justice Kagan's example of a president who orders a coup, let's imagine that he is impeached and convicted for ordering that coup, and let's just accept for the sake of argument your position that that was official conduct you're saying that he couldn't be prosecuted for that even after conviction in a, an impeachment proceeding if there was not a statute that expressly referenced the president and made it criminal for the president. There would have to be a, a statute that made a clear statement that Congress purported to regulate the president's conduct. Okay, thank you.